Hey everyone, it's Misha. I am not going to be able to do a very high quality video today. It's actually because I'm in France right now. I'm taking a short vacation and visiting a friend. So all I have is my smartphone. But I wanted to show you guys where I'm staying and uh, try to make it as relaxing I can. I can. I'm staying with a friend who lives in this little apartment in a small French town. She lives in a town that has about 7,000 people, so it's very small. This is her apartment. Um, some parts of it are fairly normal. Some parts of it are kind of strange. For example, the bathroom just has a toilet and nothing else. And the sink and the bathroom or the shower are in here. So every time you go to the bathroom, you have to go into the next room to wash your hands. <clears throat> uh, this is the living area. That is the couch that I have been sleeping on. This is her room. I won't show you most of it, but I wanted to show you this beautiful doorway. Uh, it seems to be made out of wood and some kind of metal and it just seems unusually fancy for uh, such a small apartment. She has lots of fun and European looking decorations on the wall. Here is the little kitchen. It's a tiny, tiny little place. And the window here opens up onto the town square. You can see this old church in the distance. She says that it's something like 400 years old. I think. Down there is a bunch of shops, lots of people. Twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays, the market comes to town and all these cars are gone and instead people put up their little shops, little stalls. And you go and buy produce and various other things. been to Paris once already. We went and saw the Notre Dame Cathedral, which was amazing. In fact, I will try to go back there and do another ASMR video because, oh my word, it was incredible. We also went to a fashion museum. Uh, 
less about fashion and more about the Vogue magazine, but it was nice. I'll sh show you this little courtyard area. This is just a little back area for all the apartments and businesses that are in this area. We can go down there and look around. I really like this garden because the bushes are so they're so well trimmed. The gardens are a very big deal in this town and in France in general. Look at this one. My friend told me that there's this national organization that rates towns and cities based on the quality of their flowers. And that, that rating gets posted on the entrance to the town. You will never, I believe, find anything like that in America. It just strikes me as so cultured. <laughs> In fact, this, this whole place is cultured. The entire country, values. Um, intellectual and subjective pursuits, much more than America. around the town, and maybe I'll do that in another video too, and there's just beauty everywhere. So many flowers and gardens, lots of flowers I don't know the names of, it's really beautiful. Even this little complex, I mean, it's nice, but it's not particularly fancy, but the gardens are still amazing. So, all sorts of types of moss here. I don't see a lot of moss where I live, because I live in the desert. So it's nice. I don't speak French very well. In fact, I didn't do any studying of it before I got here. Uh, I meant to, I didn't get time. So I've been trying to learn, but I had to get from the airport to this apartment on my own when I arrived, and I ran into some trouble because I couldn't speak the language, and in a small town like this, no one else speaks English. But I eventually made it here, and it was fine, as you can see. I think tomorrow we're going to a place called Versailles and uh, 
that's apparently going to be a castle. Um, perhaps has something to do with Marie Antoinette, I'm not sure. I'm pretty excited. I'll probably be going to Paris quite a few times while I'm here. I love to explore places by myself. I don't really feel free unless I can do that. The last time I went to a foreign country, I went to Japan, but I was 17 and was very, very dependent on the people I was staying with. But it's not like that so much, except for the language barrier, and I'm learning. I can say a few phrases. <clears throat> the pronunciation is the most difficult part. The French don't have an R sound the way we say R, it's ah, it's like a guttural back of the throat sound, and I'm not very good at saying it. But it's a beautiful language, and I hear everyone talking all around me, and it sounds like music. In Paris, it's uh, it's quite an amazing city. I uh, I've never actually been in a place with so much diversity, cultural diversity. The place I live is very uh, there's only one type of person, mostly. people from every type of nationality. So it's cool to be there. It's cool to see how alive the city feels. Alive, but very old. Even rigid in a way. Because it's buildings and Streets are all, they're also uniform. You know, all their buildings look pretty much alike. There's a bumblebee. I love bumblebees. Goodbye. I've actually seen lots of bumblebees while I've been here. across town there's a, just the most beautiful forest area. I might take you guys over there as well. So we'll have to see. I can't promise anything because I don't know what we're going to end up getting up to. I'm sorry there's been so many planes flying overhead. I, I don't think there usually are, but of course I started to film an ASMR video, and that's that's a sign to the universe that it's start to it's time to start making noise. I'm sure you other content creators out there can relate.
thank you for joining me. Um, I really hope I get to do my video of Notre Dame. Uh, not Notre Dame. Notre Dame. I'm really bad at that. Anyway, thanks for joining me.